YouTube, Stu B520 here. Uh, I got an update on the Beretta Nano. Uh, a month, two months ago or so, I did a video. I picked up a Beretta Nano that uh, had like nine spare mags, and I had picked up a another one that was in a, uh, a, a little bin next to the register with like loose mags. Well. <clears throat> I got that one to the range, and it was very uh, picky, finicky. Uh, I don't know what to call it, but it was a disaster. Uh, I couldn't get through two or three rounds without having some kind of malfunction. Um, it just kept jamming, it double feeds, uh, stove pipes, everything. So I traded that pistol for the other one that happened to be in the case that day that I went and picked up that Beretta Nano that had the uh, 9 mags. And this one was uh, Flat Dark Earth. Uh, I'm sorry, OD Green with the black slide. The other one was black and it had night sights on it. This one did not have night sights and it did not come with a ton of spare mags. It only came with the mag that was in the pistol. So, I eventually, I, I, I traded that other one away, and I picked up this one, because it was still in the case. So, let's take a look. Empty magazine. Empty chamber. Empty mag well. This gun's clear. Okay, so... Yeah, so OD Green with the black slide, it did not have night sights. It had regular factory sights, which I ended up blacking out and putting my orange neon pop on the front. Um, I also got a little grip sleeve. It was like, I think, six, six bucks on eBay. Gives it a little more in the hand, a little palm swell. Um, what else here? Uh, yeah, so I did take this one to the range, and it performed a hell of a lot better. I mean, I prim primarily used 124 grain, uh, hoping that would help alleviate some of the issues I had with the previous Nano. And it seemed to work, because this one worked uh, pretty well. Almost flawless. Almost. For the 150 rounds I put through, I think I had one... Uh, uh, failure to go into battery, so it, was, it hung up, and I just gave it a little, it hung up as I was, uh, put one in, and then he dropped the slide on the, on the round in the chamber, and I think it hung up for there, and I gave it a pop home, and I think I had, uh, one other failure, I can't remember what it was, I don't think it was anything major, it could have been ammo related, uh, but in any event, this one performed a lot better. I wish it had the night sights, but it doesn't. Um, I didn't trade the <laughs> the nine mags in with that other pistol. I kept those all the all the mags I kept. I just traded one flush fit to to trade, it. <clears throat> so it at least had a mag with it. But uh, yeah, this one's a little better. Uh, I still gonna do some more range time with it. Uh, I, I think I gotta get at least another 150 rounds through it though, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. It ran my hollow points fine. I had a uh, I think uh, a 124 grain some jacket of hollow point. I forget the brand. It could have been uh, uh, critical defense, or critical duty. I'm not sure. I can't remember if this was a, a week, two weeks or so back. But I, uh, yeah, it ran a hell of a lot better. Uh, I mean, I, I was able to get through uh, continuous mags. You know, I, I, you know, you just kept sticking mags in there and it kept firing and no issues. Um, uh, I don't know the date as far as production goes on this, but it was out of uh, Beretta, USA, Echo Creek, Maryland. 
and it was made in the USA. So this was uh, not made in Italy. Obviously, it says made in USA right here. And yeah, I'm happy that I did the switch because that other one was a disaster. And uh, this one ran pretty good with uh, just one failure to go into battery, a little pop home, it went. And there was something else, I forget what it was. Uh, I, I, I don't even remember, it was so minor. But uh, yeah, now, now if I get a few more rounds through it, I'm gonna put it through uh, its paces again. Hopefully at least another 150 if I can get the time to get to the range. And remember, I bought the, I don't know if in the last video I had the little uh, eBay uh, cheapo holster. But uh, yeah, I got that. And uh, I ended up getting these little foam cushions, which I really like. Okay, I saw them and I said, oh, that's an, there's an idea. So what happens is when you carry an appendix or however you're carrying, instead of the instead of it going flush up against your body this pushes it out a little so your grip so your grip is in more towards the body and it helps conceal a lot better uh, there I think they're like 20 bucks on eBay comes with a pack of three it has the velcro both one sticks to the uh, the holster and the other sticks is already on the pad and you just attach and now you get it pushes it if this is the body and then your belts here it pushes it towards the body more so it's even more concealable so that's that i did a little tweak on this uh i heated it up and and, and melted it around I, I i i didn't feel like it had a great hold for a cheapo holster usually they're not too bad when i get them and uh but i just tweaked it a little to make sure it had enough retention and it does. Now it does. So there you go. Update on the Beretta Nano that had nine extra mags and the one I found. I ended up trading it back. And I think the the, uh, the gun shop guy said he was going to send it off to Beretta. I don't know if he has a deal as being a, a, a an FFL or a gun store that they can send pistols back for service. I don't know, because he's talking about another one that he had that uh, it, there was an issue with some hammer-fired pistol where all you had to do is put your finger on the hammer and it would release it. So there was something wrong inside the mechanism. So he sent it off to Smith & Wesson and they fixed it. And I don't remember if he said he charged. But in any event, I traded that off. He's going to send it out, or did already. And I traded it for this one. The OD green with the black slide, no night sights, blacked out rear, orange neon pop, little grip sleeve. Now, now we're in a little bit better condition here and uh, get some more rounds through it. And it would definitely be into the carry rotation, the quick run off to the store maybe. Uh, you know, go pick up the dinner, go drop off the kids, which I don't have small children anymore they're both grown adults uh but yeah i'm happy about that what do you think thoughts beretta nano od green uh od green olive drab i think that is od olive drab od green uh nice little pistol this one is nice the other one was a disaster so what do you think youtube Beretta Nano, switched out for Beretta Nano, <laughs> and there we go. Thanks, YouTube. Have a great day.